This is a day in the life of a Japanese toy maker. Ah! Oh wait, I'm not a witch cook. Phew. This is Kana, 27 years old, living in Tokyo, and she's just waking up for work. She lives on her own in this 1LDK apartment. Her morning routine is fairly simple, because like most Japanese, she prefers to take a bath at night. So getting ready is quick, and finished after applying her makeup. Oh, she's wearing circle contact lenses, quite common in Japan. In fact, one out of four Japanese women in their 20s and 30s wear either circle or color contact lenses. I see what they're doing. How long does it take you to get ready? You don't eat breakfast? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Although she gets ready quickly, before she leaves breakfast. the house, she makes sure to quickly check her personal email, as it's typical in Japanese business culture to only read work emails during work hours. Kana is originally from Aichi Prefecture but moved to Yamanashi Prefecture to attend university, majoring in regional sociology. Like many Japanese university students, she started her Shushoku Katsudo, aka job hunting, while in school and was able to secure employment before graduation, which led her to Tokyo to start her new life and career. And as a person who has a deep appreciation for all things cute and fun, she naturally found a fit at a job for the last four years as a toy planner. Hey y'all, we're doing another day in the life, and this time with a Japanese toy maker. Kana should be coming on the next train. So excited for this one. Let's see how she's doing this morning. Good morning. So how did you sleep last night? She works at Sega Toys, creating some of the most popular toys in Japan. Formed in 1998 from its parent company Sega, one of the largest video game and entertainment companies in the world. Although many of the Sega Sami companies are located in the same building, Sega Toys operates independently with 110 hardworking staff to create award-winning omocha, in English, toys, even with major brands like Anpan Man and Disney. So our first task of the day is to check emails. How long does it usually take? Can you show me a toy you created? Why do they have double subtitles? Wow, I guess this is a stock room for previous products. So cute! Now, Kana has a weekly meeting where each member is responsible for sharing how their own project is coming along, such as schedule, milestones, as well as possible delays or issues. And these days, because of COVID, what was once highly found upon in Japanese business culture, online meetings with co workers at home has become part of everyday business in Japan. Oh, it seems like they're done with the meeting. Where are you going now? So the company has a wellness system called Input Day, which allows employees to use up to 3,000 yen, about $26 every month, to experience new entertainment to help encourage creativity and understand new trends. Oh, she's going somewhere. Where are you going? Wait, $26 every month to to buy video games and, and watch movies or something? <laughs> Kana usually goes to lunch around this time, but since she has a bit more work in the office, she's gonna grab a little snack to tide her over. Fortunately, there's a convenience store in the building just a few floors down, fairly common for large office buildings in Japan. How many toys do you plan a year? 
ちゃいいもの劇屋とか去年は50個ぐらいは担当を持ってました。So it looks like Kana has a little bit more desk work, so while she's doing that, let's go toy around this place. Alright, so this looks like the break area on this floor. They've got basic kitchen appliances and vending machines. Let's see what they have in the fridge. Oh, I guess people put their bentos in here. Wow, and check this out. This is the history of all the Sega arcade games. They even have the first one, the Sega 1000. Wow, check out this amazing view. Ooh, that guy's playing with toys. Hi, can I talk to you? What are you doing right now? So you made this toy? So what's Chain Rinser all about? Chain Rinser is not a little bit. Oh, I see. The little mini cars are propelled by the power of springs and slopes, and you can link together these mini tiles to make a unique track. Damn, the combinations must be endless. What was the hardest part about making this? All the roads are now being made into a card shape. That's a bit advanced. In this limited situation, how to make a surprise and amazing movement to make a road is one of the most difficult points of design. So this is pretty cool seeing what everyone is doing. Let's see if we can find some more people. Hello. Hi. Can I ask what you're doing? What does this dog do? Oh, it dances too. Apparently, Coco can understand and perform 24 different tricks. What was most challenging when making Coco? Apparently, Japanese kids have a distinct voice compared to other countries, so there aren't many existing programs made for them. So it was a challenge for her team to make the right adjustments. So which one did you choose? Thank you. Hi. Hello, can I ask you a question? Hi. What do you do here? Oh, you're the CEO? Why are you sitting in the same room as everyone? So, what do you think is the most important thing when making a toy? ミッションがあるのでみんな楽しくもう世界中の人たちに驚きと笑顔を与えたいっていうのでいろいろ商品化のジャッジするとか I mean being a toy maker doesn't seem too bad You could be sitting in an American office boring yourself to death sending mails getting shot in at calculating numbers Well she does all this too but at least she makes toys Still hell though Can't comment really. But uh, I can watch 15 minutes. You'll speed things up here, yo. I have another customer.